Well, here are uh, the LA Auto Show talking about the completely new car, not only a new car, a new brand for BMW. Tell us about it, please. Yeah, BMW i is actually our uh, answer to the changing demands in individual mobility. BMW i stands for individual mobility, inspiring design, as you can see when yeah. you walk around the cars, and uh, a whole new focus on sustainability. And we are going to bring two cars to the market, the BMW i3 at the end of next year, 2013, and the BMW i8, as I call it, the most progressive sports car in the world at the beginning of 2014. That's the one that was in the movie, right? Mission Impossible 4? Very close to that, <laughs> yes. Yeah, something like that. So, I mean, that's a way of showing what can BMW do with the technology, engineer, and all that. But now the i3, it's, it's coming. It's true. I mean, it's going to be on the, on the market, you say, 2000? At the 13. end of 2013. Yeah. And this is a pure electric car. Can you tell us a little bit about it, please? Yeah, it's a pure electric car. It has a high-voltage battery system and electric motor, and it runs pure electric. And uh, it's the only car that is specifically developed and designed for electromobility. So actually we changed the architecture of the car in comparison to our usual production type of, of okay. vehicles. And actually by doing that we can use different materials, different technologies to bring so many advantages which are necessary to make electromobility a success. And uh, this car is also unique because it's made of carbon fiber, right? So that makes also a like, reduction of the weight and like the efficiency of the car itself. Exactly. This is one of the materials I tried to, to or I mentioned, is with this architecture, we have the capability to make the complete passenger cell out of carbon fiber. And as you mentioned, it's a light material. It's actually the lightest material you could use in the automotive industry without any concessions to safety. And usually converting a regular car into an electric car that brings an additional yeah, 350 kilograms, yeah. around 700 pounds to the car. And with this technology and this material, we can actually completely off that, that additional weight. So is your engineering team, I bet, still working on it? So do you have specs, like, what's going to be the range of it uh, once it's fully charged, the battery, all that? Or? Yeah, when we talk about the concept, which is very close to production type, we have a range of around 100 miles in, in customer behavior, which means it's absolutely sufficient for your needs in commuting in an urban area. Yeah. And uh, we have a complete energy uh, electric drivetrain that uh, gets an acceleration from 0 to 62 in under 6 seconds. So it's also fun to drive. It's also <laughs> fun to drive. I mean, I promise you that no car that uh, is, uh, or every car that is coming from our company is uh, something where it's, it's a lot of fun to drive. And with BMW i, we're going to keep the same promise. It's going to be a lot of fun to drive. It's very dynamic. Very agile, at the same time, extremely efficient. So you mentioned two cars coming out. So the i3, what's the other one? The BMW, and when? The BMW i8 is our, as I call it, the most progressive sports car in the world. It's a plug-in hybrid. It uh, consists out of the same material, uh, carbon fiber. It has the same architecture. It combines an electric drive unit with a uh, very efficient and very dynamic combustion engine. And this car has a driving performance of uh, acceleration from uh, 0 to 62 under 5 seconds, but at the same time a fuel consumption of over 80 miles per gallon. And this one's going to be released at the beginning of 2014, just shortly after the i3. Excellent. So like more or less in a year from now. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time, and I can't wait to drive those cars. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Esto es Autos 060 y como les digo siempre, no quiten la vista de la carretera y mantengan los oídos en Autos 060. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.